Well, how's it going guys? You Auto Scotty coming at you here. It's going to be a bit of a vlog today. Man, it's March 5th or something. And uh, I'm stoked, man. Like, the weather's here, the, the snow's melting. Going to get an early start to this uh, season here. All kinds of plans with peanut, peanut butter cup and a cherry pie here. Thanks a lot, guys, for all your really nice comments uh, on that video. I wasn't expecting to get so many uh, really nice comments like that. I actually thought that video was going to be a little bit boring, but it uh, seems like you guys really enjoyed the news. You know, I'm, I'm very lucky to have uh, really just awesome people here on my channel, and uh, it's, uh, it's great. We've got a couple kayaks here. This is a kayak that Jayla bought years ago, which doesn't really get out very much. It's a two-person kayak, Pelican. So that will likely just be going permanently to the to the waterfront. Jayla bought herself a, a single-person kayak. You see, I have to I had to axe the ice out to get into the shed here. It's been a few months since I've been able to get in here, but frozen, frozen, frozen out. There's my uh, t-shirt. Uh, drying machine but this is a kayak that Jayla bought just before we you know just just before we were supposed to buy the land and we ran into all those problems so uh so it's been a long time since i've seen this kayak and it's nice to know that we're finally going to be able to use this so uh, Jayla was pretty disappointed when when she bought this and then two days later we we had all those uh problems you know uh but now everything's fine and we can <clears throat> look at stuff like this again and not be uh heartbroken so so yeah so this is great so we got this jayla's new kayak here and we'll take that down to the property and and uh, but what i'm really in here to, for is uh, my chainsaw we're gonna Sharpen, uh, sharpen the blade. So we got uh, fuel and uh, bar oil. Uh, pretty sure I got a lot. Pretty sure I got all that. Pretty sure I got all that stuff. So let's get here. Let's get the chainsaw and the chain, the blade all sharpened up. Maybe we'll take that axe too. bench space. I clean the house. The garage is real. Such a mess. Such a mess, but here. All right. Nothing worse than a chainsaw with a dull blade. This is a very cheap little chainsaw. Poulan Pro. Model number PP 4218A. Uh, this, is a, this is a really cheap 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 uh, chainsaw but i've cut a lot of wood with this and actually i've been very happy with uh with this thing you know I've, I've cut a lot of trees with this over the years since i moved up here and, uh, yeah so use a little chain adjustment here and uh, sharpen the chain up sharpen both chains i think and uh, get some bar oil. Where do we have bar oil? Some bar oil. I think I got tons of that stuff. There we go. Chainsaw bar oil. We'll take that with us. We've got a nice sharp chain on that chainsaw. It makes quick work of, uh, of cleanup. Get that nice cha sharp chain. I've got two chains. I'll sharpen them both up. I just use this rat file. I know there's a lot of videos online about sharpening chainsaw blades. Um, I don't get real crazy with it. I basically just do it all by eye. <laughs> I mean, I probably do it all wrong, but it does the trick. It sharpens the chain. Uh, also, it's a cheap chain. It's it's a cheap chainsaw, so I don't really I don't really care as long as it's going through the wood real nice. I don't care if it's the right or wrong way to do it, so just get this done real quick here. Oh, 
a little bit too tight. This is about right. Let's see, before I go to all the trouble, it's sharpening and stuff, let's see if, let's see if, uh, see if she even runs. It's been a, been a, been a minute. Definitely needs bar oil. Let's see if we can uh, get her started. It's okay one of the jets in this is definitely messed up I can I can tell the high-speed jet it's not uh, not super hmm. I wonder if I can adjust that here but I think that's for another time she runs well enough well enough let's take her back inside got a couple chains sharpened up I got two chains cheapy cheap quick and dirty quick and dirty that's the way we roll here so yeah if you see um, focus or not uh, it's just very dull very dull Ooh, this is in bad shape it's in pretty bad shape actually I don't know if I can bring this back but what I basically do is just get on there with the file and cut the uh, cut the tooth like so all the ones that are angled like this this is in really bad shape though I don't know let's get to it
right, I would imagine that probably, it's probably better if... I actually got a couple teeth that are busted right off it. A lot of these are bent too. Just I hitting rocks and here's one that's busted right off. Right there. Do it'll do for today. I'm gonna put on I'm gonna go with two chains. Got another chain in here. Go with two chains. Put this other one back on. And sharpen this one up. Then I'll have two chains. Put this one on. Shoot up too, eh? Some wear on her. It's probably just fine. Cheap saw, cheap saw. Not super, super worried about it. That's the way I like it. Cheap, cheap, and it works. Fine with me. Done a lot of good stuff with this saw. Cleaned up a lot of a lot of woods with this. Alrighty. Hey guys, <laughs> we're just getting going here. We're going to be heading up to the property. Just a little. Oh man, that road is bad. We gotta get the grader to come down here and the grader to come down and even out the road. Yeah, I have a feeling something's going on up here. I have a feeling like there might be something happening up, up on the road here. There's a lot of sirens and a lot of ambulances going by, and that's never a good thing up here. Uh, if there's an accident up here, it's usually not a fender bender, if you know what I'm saying. It's usually a head-on collision, something serious. There are fatalities on this road every season, so Jayla and I are always really careful driving up here at night there's a lot of animals on the road just all kinds of stuff so gotta be real careful so already i got the i got the two uh, chainsaw blades i got the two chainsaw chains sharpened ready to go got plenty of fuel bar oil i got some pruners we're gonna make a stop at the grocery store to get some uh Get something to eat, get some uh, snacks while we're up there. Got plenty of water. Uh, then Jayla and I are gonna go out for dinner in Gracefield at uh, Milano's. Some good friends of ours there. We played a couple gigs there actually. We played the owner of Milano's, we played his uh, son's wedding celebration, which was awesome. The guy rented his son a Ferrari. <laughs> 
interesting because driving a Ferrari up here is not the greatest idea. There are just huge potholes in the road and you know, you don't want to be driving anything low to the ground up here. But anyways, he had a Ferrari. He was driving a Ferrari around Gracefield. <laughs> heading in here a bit of a, a bit of a tricky road to get down it's muddy muddy at this time of season we've got some snacks what do we got we got uh, big daddy we got uh, a little parfait action we got a muffin probably gonna probably gonna eat that first and a uh, little little sandwich kit here with some pasta a fork we got some uh, barbecue chips so we're all set up for snacks this afternoon should have got the chips probably. I'm, I'm, a, I'm really bad with chips. Uh, I'll, uh, I will destroy an entire bag of barbecue chips and not eat dinner. Uh, I do that regularly. I've, uh, that's my one weakness is chips. I can't. I've got a bag of good, good chips in front of me. Man, I am. Uh, I'm going to town on that bag. <laughs> She's a little dicey getting in here. A little dicey, you gotta take her a little, a little easy there. I'm driving uh, Jayla's RAV. It's the proper vehicle to get in and out of here. So I'll just take her easy. It's muddy and there's lots of potholes from the winter, all that kind of stuff, so.
right, uh, chainsaw is going pretty good. Just one did one tank of gas. A little saw, a little cheap saw is working real good. I'm gonna sharpen the blade a little bit. And, uh, but yeah, we uh, got this whole area more or less opened up now. I'm gonna do one more tank of fuel here and take a break from the chainsawing. It's kind of, it's kind of, uh, I forgot my eye protection and ear protection. So, and I forgot a jacket. Really need a jacket, but. Um, yeah, I'll just do one more tank of gas and then we'll call her a day for the chainsaw. And no rush. No rush. Just going to get these, these couple more trees cut up. That would actually make a huge difference. Yeah, maybe that one and this, maybe that one and this one right here. That would help things up a little bit, quite a bit. Yeah, let's get uh, sh blade is lasting okay, but it did dulls quickly. Just uh, fueled up here. Gonna sharpen my blade. I'm just gonna give it a little. T just gonna give my uh, sorry, not my blade. My just give my chain just a little bit of a touch up there. Keep things going. Tripping all over myself. Let's see here, right? Now, this is not the proper way to sharpen a chainsaw chain. There are plenty of videos on YouTube. Uh, with people that actually know what they're doing. I, this is not the way to do it. So don't take, uh, I'm just doing this quick, fully aware that this is not, not the best. Just trying to do things quickly. Bar oil goes pretty quick. The bar oil goes pretty quick. I'm gonna go a little bit more. I don't want to. I don't want to saw for the whole time I'm here. It's just pretty noisy. I'm gonna do uh, adjust my chain tension here just a little bit too. Man, is it beautiful here, man? Wow. 
All right, one more, one more tank of fuel, and then we're gonna be done with the chainsaw. One more tank of fuel, and we'll be done with this. And yeah, then we can do some other stuff that's uh, quieter and a little bit. It's really, it's really loud without my ear protection. Okay. Yeah, it's just, it's really, really loud without uh, ear protection, but what are you going to do? We out here, got to get it done. area kind of cleaned up here. Whoa. It's looking good. Get some of these sticks. Clean some of these sticks up. These out of the water. That's better if that's not in the water. That must be a woodpecker, but it is super quiet here, man. Wow. Super quiet. Yeah, there's no cars here. Just cut up all this wood here. Just 
gonna stack it, pile it. We're gonna have basically firewood for the entire summer. And, you know, so it just pretty nice to have a fire tonight, actually. That would be nice. Just come back here with the uh, shovel and dig up the fire pit. starting to open up pretty good now this whole area here was sort of overrun with uh, fallen trees and stuff you see I cut it all up and uh, I'm hauling this out of here now once I get that cleaned up I bet you it's gonna really open this up and make it feel a lot better yeah all right I'm gonna get back to work here got maybe an hour left the sun sunlight here let's go for a quick walk here down to the water It's starting to melt pretty quick. Might not be able to walk with this. So ripping around on the ice. It's cool. <laughs> See him go by. I gotta meet up with Jayla in about half an hour for dinner. Going out for dinner in Gracefield. So we'll do that. Then I might go to my camp later on. Do some practicing. Got some practicing I gotta do. Uh, I'm in the studio tomorrow. Forgot my heater though, so. Uh, but yeah, I do want to go down to my camp tonight, take the heater, have, have some dinner with Jayla, do a little bit of a. Uh, tonight we're going out to celebrate the uh, the land purchase, so, so we're uh, gonna go get some dinner, and I'm gonna go home. I might grab my stuff and go up to my camp a little bit of late night practicing we'll see we'll see we'll see but uh, we should get going here it's getting dark and it's time to go it gets really dark out here at night time extremely dark I'll pick up a log on the way up this one looks easy it's gonna be nice. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be really nice. Let's jump in the car, get to Gracefield, meet, meet up with Jayla for dinner. Tomorrow for a studio. So 
and we'll see you see you in the next video.